Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up so uninvited? Just change my mind like that. Please don't take this personal. What is up, you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Olivia. What's up, girl? What's good? And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for supporting. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching my videos. So today, in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I take care of my baby bum, okay? I'm currently seven months pregnant. Somehow, y'all, I've managed to not get any stretch marks. I know we still got two months to go, but my routine, I feel like my routine been working. I know they say like some girls just don't get stretch marks and that may be the case too but i don't want to try it out y'all i have been nursing my stomach nursing my belly being extra extra attentive to it just to make sure that i don't get too bad of stretch marks if stretch marks at all i'll be showing you guys everything from how i remove the hair to what i exfoliate it with how i wash it what i wash it with and what i moisturize it with as well i know these probably aren't typical like belly bump products but y'all i've been using what i got and it has been doing me wonders okay i, I don't have not one stretch mark if it can help me i'm sure it can help one of you too i know it may not work for everybody but Hey, look, one of y'all gonna benefit off this for sure. <laughs> so yes, if you do wanna see how I take care of my baby bum, you can go ahead and keep watching. So hopping straight into it, this is my stomach. I am currently 30 weeks pregnant as of this week. As we all know, the prenatals makes your hair grow like crazy. So to remove the hair on my stomach, I like to use Nair instead of shaving, but I absolutely hate the smell of it. So I use a glove to apply it. <laughs> I only apply this to the under part of my belly, just my personal preference. And then I will leave this on for about 10 minutes and wash it off with a warm washcloth in the shower. And I do only nair about twice a month, you guys. So after nearing my stomach, I do like to exfoliate because I feel like it gets the rest of the hair particles that the washcloth might have missed. Also, it honestly feels so good, so soothing on my stomach. This is the only exfoliant I've been using on my belly, you guys, and I absolutely love it. It smells super good and it leaves my belly super soft after I use it. I do only exfoliate my belly about twice a month as well, which is only after I nair. I don't like to exfoliate too often because I feel like it might cause my skin to break and aggravate it if I do it too much. After exfoliating, I rinse my belly and wash it with Dove Soap. I actually combine this Dove Shea Butter Bar with the Dove Deep Moisture Soap. Both of these soaps are my favorite because they're super moisturizing so I don't have to worry about them drying out my skin which I feel like can potentially cause stretch marks. I only like to use moisturizing, hydrating products on my belly. I feel like the moisture helps with the elasticity my belly needs to continue to stretch without causing the appearance of stretch marks. Next, it's time to moisturize. So to start off, I like to use Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion because of the different vitamins it carries. On the bottle, it literally says repairs and heals extra dry skin. Not that my skin is extra dry, but my skin needs some extra moisture to continue to stretch. So I already know it's going to provide the hydration that my skin needs to do that. So the Jerkins was just the base, but this, this product right here, you guys, is my holy grail of products. I will absolutely never stop using this product. It's honestly the number one product I feel like has really been preventing me from getting stretch marks, as well as helping me with my itchy skin. 
It's made with natural cocoa butter and pure linoleum. Linoleum is what softens your skin and helps it become more stretchier, which naturally is going to prevent you from getting stretch marks. It's super thick and creamy. It does leave your skin feeling a tad bit oily, but I like it. It's thick, and that's how I know it's really doing its job. As our belly stretches during pregnancy, it can cause itchiness, and this cream is the solution. On the back of the container, it states that it relieves discomforts of stretched skin during and after pregnancy. So best believe I will still be using this on my belly after I give birth to help with the healing process. And as you will see, I really do like to massage this into my sides, my back, as well as my stomach. I literally give myself a whole like five, 10 minute massage when applying this product. <laughs> I really make sure it gets in my skin and does what it needs to do. For as long as I'm here, baby, that's okay with me. For as long as you want, baby, that's okay with me. For as long as you want, baby, that's okay with me. How does it sound, sound? Kid girl, come spend the night with me. Say whatever, just don't lie to me. Stepping up, no, I want you on the side of me. Mama, you could come work full time with me. Roll through when the beam gets side to the wheels fall off. That's how long you can ride. And there we have it. By the time my routine is done, my stomach is looking all shiny and moisturized, honey. Okay, and just perfect. Yes, you guys, these products are super affordable. Get them at your local beauty supply store, Walmart, Kroger, super affordable. We don't need those super expensive belly creams, belly oils, y'all. Okay, if I could help you out in any kind of way, like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips. Took a little sip on. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips to the little sip pump. Me and my bitch took a little trip down to the garden. Took a little dip. Apple juice falling from my lips to the little sip pump. Little step. Took a little sip. Took a little sip. Took a little. Took a little. Took a little sip. Uh huh.